Hi, this is Tim Sanson with Sexton Lawn and Landscape coming to you from Fairhope, Alabama and going to talk to you briefly about uh, Bermuda grass. Uh, Bermuda is one of the four main turf types that we could have in, in this area um, and it just is a pretty good option for people to choose for a lawn if, if uh, they're interested in something that's a little more durable. It's got a different look to it than, than other grasses that we, that we might have. It's got a fi really fine blade, uh, it's, but it's, like I said, it's more durable than, than the others that we've got. So it deals with foot traffic really well. As an example, uh, this is the type of grass that's used on football fields, soccer fields, baseball fields, golf courses, you know, anywhere that's going to get a lot of disturbance. And, and uh, that the reason is it just recovers really fast from it. It recovers fast because it grows fast. And so uh, as a result, it just uh, is, is the most durable type of, of grass. Um, it also, uh, because it grows fast, it does need to be fed pretty, pretty frequently. And, and so uh, a good fertilizer program is going to be key to having a, a good result from a, a, a Bermuda lawn. Um, we're here in, in, in middle of November and this, this Bermuda grass is still growing actively. It's, uh, uh, we live in South Baldwin County and so we, we get warm enough temperatures to keep this stuff growing throughout a, a longer season than might be experienced further north, even just a few hundred miles. So uh, a couple things about that is it's, it's really just kind of determined by soil temperatures and that's affected by air temperature and water temperature. So the soil temperature's got to get down to uh, temperatures really below 60 65 and into the 50s to get the stuff to go dormant and that takes a pretty good while you could use a thermometer to uh, to check the temperature just see kind of what that progress is and, and how that's going we know in our area that's probably going to be in the, the December time frame before this stuff actually stops actively growing and, and we start managing it a little bit differently um, but just uh, again a key couple key points is it needs a good fertilizer program it needs to be kept at about one inch tall to get the best results out of it and uh, just by doing those few things you, you should have a really nice lawn out of it uh, it also needs a lot of sunlight and um, probably not be under oak trees and too many pine trees where it's going to get a lot of uh, water falling through those onto them. It can acidify, acidify the soil a little bit and kind of change the chemistry and, and uh, be a little bit problematic for it. But uh, other than that, it can be a, a really, really good choice for your lawn. If you've got any questions, you can reach us on www.sextonlandscapes.com. Uh, we're also on all the social media feeds like Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter. So reach out to us and we'd, we'd love to uh, talk about maybe installing a Bermuda grass lawn for you.